Question 1. The ratio of the number of coins Mel had and Amy had was 3 is to 5 is to 4. Mel lost half of her coins to Ted. Ted then lost 10 coins to Amy, who then had thrice the number of coins Mel had. How many coins did Ted have at the end? Since this is a ratio question, we're going to use a ratio table. So number of coins male head to number of coins tat head and last number of coins Amy head. So at the beginning they had three units as to five units as to four units and then we know that okay let me do this first this is before then what happened Mel lost half of her coin so initially she had three she lost half which is one and a half unit However, we don't really like to deal with decimal or fraction. So we use a whole number. It's much easier. So we can multiply by 2 to get 6 is to 10 is to 8. So 6 units, 10 units, 8 units. Mel lost half of her coins to 10. Let's construct the after table. Mel had 6 units. So after losing half of it, she would be left with 3 units lost to Ted. So Ted will gain the 3 units to become 13. After that, Ted then lost 10 coins to Amy. So we need to minus away 10 coins from Amy. Uh, from Ted and give it to Amy. So, 8 units plus 10. Who, in the end, 3 times of Mel. This is 3 times of Mel. What it means is that if I were to take 3 units, multiply by 3, it will be equal to this. Okay. So, 3 units multiply by 3, I will get 9 units, which is equal to what Amy had. 8 units plus 10. So, what can we say about this 10? This 10 must be equal to 1 unit. Okay, 10 coins is equal to 1 unit. From here, we can figure out the answer. How many coins did Ted have at the end? This. So, number of coins Ted had at the end, which is 13 units, so 10 times 13, minus 10, which will give us the answer of 1, 2, 0.